Welcome Pisces. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I am the Empress. Happy to have you here. Happy to be here. This is going to be your January mid-month. We're going to take a look into the mid-month, see what energy is coming towards you, okay? This is going to be a quick read. Um, I hope these messages resonate with each and every one of you. If they don't, make sure you check your moon and your rising videos. Um, and as well, guys, these readings can go vice versa, okay? So let's see what messages do we have for the Pisces. Let's see. overall message for Pisces please for January 15th through the 30th from January 15th through the 30th what message is there for Pisces January 15th through the 30th or January 30, 31st I'm sorry so January 31st I think there's 31 days in January if I'm not mistaken okay we got you guys are waiting for some type of, you guys are waiting for something to be brought to the light, is what I'm getting here, okay? I feel like some of you guys may have been suffering in silence, okay? You, you, you feel like you've been left in the dark about something? I feel like you're waiting for something to come to the light, okay? Is what I'm picking up here. Let's get an overall message. Let's get a message for Pisces, okay? Please give me a message for Pisces. We got the Knight of Wands, okay? Somebody, oh, and then the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So someone is definitely a, being a player or someone is like in and out or you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But this is more, more of like a player-like energy, someone that's something that's short, you know, short-lived, um, if it's in regards to a partnership or relationship or um, situationship type energy, this type of person doesn't stick around long. Okay. What is the challenge? Please give me the challenge for Pisces. We got the five of pentacles okay so someone is has missed the opportunity or you feel like someone is going to miss the opportunity you could be feeling like you missed the opportunity there could be issues in regards to feeling left out in the cold or there could be a financial strain okay why is this happening for Pisces? Okay, nine of cups. So it looks like someone wants to come back and forth out of your life. Okay, is what I'm picking up here. Someone is coming in and out of your life and they leave you feeling drained. Okay, they leave you feeling drained and I feel like you're pretty much getting over it. Um, I feel like you're waiting for, waiting for clarity about this person we got the ace of cups okay so there's emotions and feelings there and we got the page of swords okay so you're watching somebody you're keeping your eye on this person they're playing little games they're playing little games and you're keeping an eye on it like you're on top of it future energy wise what is the future energy for pisces ace of wands all right, so Pisces, what I'm getting for you guys, I feel like you guys want to, you know, you're waiting for something to be exposed or something to be brought to the light, illuminated. And I feel like you could be dealing with some type of player where you feel like this person wants to come in and out and you're keeping an eye on this, you're watching this, okay? And overall, I feel like you do have emotions or you do care for this person, but I feel like there's a new beginning getting ready to start. 
you're getting ready to um, start something new. I got two new cards here. Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? For Pisces. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so this is Capricorn's energy. This could be sexual energy as well, too, with that Ace of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Okay, someone's too risky. Someone's too risky and too flighty. Why is the page of swords here? Oh, the magician. Someone, okay, you may feel like someone is trying to make you talk or make you speak up. Nine of cups. Okay, someone could want uh, something long term. Or you want something long term, but you feel like this person is a player okay you want something long term you may want marriage you may want a full-fledged commitment a family but this person may be real flighty okay why is the ace of cups here non-committal yeah i feel like you guys talked and had a conversation about this in the past ace of cups and the knight of cups okay so there was a conversation had and I feel like you could feel like this person is trying to make you uh, spill the tea, spill some tea about yourself or or make trying to make you communicate. Why is the magician here? I feel like somebody is trying to manipulate you in the talking. Why is the magician here? Knight of Swords, uh-huh. So you, you could feel like somebody's trying to manipulate you in the in the talking. But I feel like you could be, you know, not interested. Maybe they feel like you aren't interested in them because we got the Four of Cups here with the king of pentacles the nine of wands okay so their guard their guard could have possibly been up because they possibly felt like you didn't you weren't interested okay they felt like you weren't really interested in them in that way why is the knight of pentacles here okay eight of pentacles so someone's going to be putting in some effort to do something new or okay trying to explain someone's trying to tell you how they feel okay so this is what I'm picking up you could feel like someone is a player they're non-committal and I feel like you the challenge is you're not sure if you want to make this decision or decision on whether or not if you want to be in a relationship or looking at this as something to, to take serious. Yeah. Okay. Because someone here wants to work. Someone here does want to work on a partnership. Does want to build something solid. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Queen of Cups. I definitely see that there was uh, someone, someone was, they were possibly asking you questions, asking you how you feel, and you probably opened up, but you might have felt like they manipulated you into talking, <laughs> like they tricked you into talking, and I feel like moving ahead, there's this new, fresh start, um, possibly with a Capricorn, and they're, you know, trying to get you to open up, trying to get you to express your feelings tell how you feel <laughs> okay really quick we're gonna see how they feel about you now, let's see what action. What action are they going to take towards Pisces? What action are they going to take towards Pisces, please? Ooh, 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 ooh. A lot of cards came out. Okay. We got Retreat. And we have Chemistry and Codependency. 
Someone is very codependent upon some type of bond that they have. Someone is very codependent. Like, they're codependent on you guys' chemistry that you have or had. Okay? And I feel like they feel they don't feel as dis, as connected with you. Um, and possibly there are children involved, too. And I'm getting that there could have possibly even been a separation. All right, Pisces. I hope this message was helpful. And until next time, I will chat with you guys later.